So the leaders of the West will have their eyes on the Central Asian nation of Uzbekistan. The country is hosting the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit this year, where the grouping is set to expand further. Leader Russia and China, Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping, they're making rare trips abroad for this summit amid the war in Ukraine. They will be joined by leaders of India, Pakistan, Turkey, Iran and other nations. Both China and Russia have long sought to position the SEO as an alternative to Western multilateral groups. They could possibly be closer to this aim now more than ever before. The summit takes place bef against pardon me, the backdrop of rapidly changing geopolitics. Russia has time and again called geopolitics of the America-led Western alliances as predatory. It cites Finland's and Sweden's NATO application as the latest example here. To counter it, Russia is planning to fall back on its SCO partners, the top two being India and China. China's slant towards Russia over Ukraine war is clear. Beijing is not part of international sanctions against Moscow. China's relations with the West have also plunged to an all-time low, especially with the United States over tensions in the Taiwan Strait. China is also standing against the U.S. as a hegemon in the Asia-Pacific. So both Russia and China are showing signs of resisting not just American power, but also the existing global order. India's partnership is also extremely crucial for Russia. The world's largest democracy and a key Quad member has maintained close ties with the United States and the West and at the same time has further strengthened ties with Russia amid the war in Ukraine. New Delhi has refused to take sides in this ongoing war. Much to the dismay of the West, India abstained from UN votes on Russian invasion. The country has instead called for diplomatic solution to this crisis. India's imports of Russian oil have soared since the Ukraine invasion. Russian President Vladimir Putin will be holding bilaterals with India's Narendra Modi. The two are expected to discuss issues of strategic ability, situation in the Asia-Pacific and bilateral cooperation within the United Nations and G20. But India may have its reservations. It may have to ponder on whether or not to back Russia's alternative to West. New Delhi is clearly not anti-West. It even has its long-standing issues with Pakistan. With China, tensions have mounted over border disputes along the line of actual control. Adding to the West list of concerns is the SU expansion here and the inclusion of its latest member, Iran. Tehran will be gaining a full membership of the SU. Iran had been waiting for this diplomatic success for a while now. Apart from better trade, economic and foreign ties, what Tehran could be seeking here is support from an anti-West grouping, as chances of the 2015 nuclear deal revival look bleak.